Hello everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning, welcome back to Crafters TV, my name is Ben Mosby, it's Thursday uh, and a slightly different Thursday perhaps to what you would normally expect because you think Thursday, cartload Thursday, already done that, already done that, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, uh, we do however though have some great shows still lined up for you a little bit later on, launch party where we're going to be looking at some of the um, biggest recent launches and actually got some crazy deals as far as the out of this world uh, and Explorer kit deals are concerned on that show from six. Right here, right now, though, we have opened up the door to the craft vault. We're in the craft vault. Vault, vault, <laughs> vault. We've got loads of great deals. Deals, deals, deals. In fact, over the course of the show, I can guarantee that you will pay uh, not more than £10 or $10 for any of the items in the craft vault. I think it's the first time that we've done a craft vault show where everything on the show is £10 or ten dollars and that's before your discount because if you're used to perhaps seeing like all platinum tenor deals that that's ten pounds before you get your club inspired discount on top there are some crazy deals to be had you will have to get in quickly because things are going to be flying out the door and we will grab uh, and get into that in just a few moments time shop the show you'll see all the deals if you hit shop the day you can see everything which is coming up later on plus if you go to the shop the day page on the website you will also see there um, deals from the cartload show on Tuesday that I've re-added back in wasn't supposed to do it but you know I'm a renegade I'm a rogue what can I say rebel without a cause uh, so you'll see all of those deals there also on the website right now we have uh, an amazing section where you can build your own goodie bag now uh, on the website um, we have got the ability for you to be able to build your own goodie bag up there are three different sections here it is so uh, there's Lily you click on Lily all right give that a little click and then uh, what you can do there's three different sections the 10 for 40 is the one which had my flabber gasted uh, i've never had my flabber been so gasted if you click on that uh, you will be able to see uh, loads of great deals there look at this to any 10 for 40 and there are 9.99 die sets in there loads of them not just one look at the top two rows top three rows top four rows I mean, you can literally get a hundred pounds worth of product for 40. And there's Twas the Night in there, Tis the Season in there. We've got Creator Cards in there. We've got um, Pop Out Snowflakes, Cyrus Signature, Stamp and Die Sets. We've got um, Christmas Creator Cards. I mean, there's absolutely tons in there. How gorgeous is that reindeer? The um, Joyful Deer just going up on the right-hand side of your screen, 7 99 What I would be doing here, because I love to get the most value for money, is I would be picking the 10 most expensive items uh, and getting those. So theoretically, what you could do grab 10 of the 9.99 ones pay that 99.99 uh sorry no not pay nine. you would be paying 99.99 but you're only paying 40. absolutely incredible please shop those deals today they will not be here tomorrow uh, because they are just until midnight tonight uh, before we say a few hellos to uh, those of you who are already with us on the socials we've got radical rachel on the socials let's say hello to my crafty craft vault partner in crime in the craft vault with me i couldn't think of anyone else i'd rather be in the craft vault with uh, the the lovely Debbie Robinson! Yes, 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 please, let's go in a craft vault together. Yes, yes. please. That'd be I, my ideal craft vaulty experience. Get being, stuck in the craft vault together. Being stuck in a craft vault with you, Ben. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Gosh. We have got so many fantastic deals uh, during this craft vault, so I'm right excited to get that. Well, we gave you a sneaky peek of some of the items, but we didn't show you everything no, didn't. that's in the craft vault. The tenor, wait a minute, tenor Thursday, is that right? Well, it was 10, yeah, £10, $10, 10, pound, $10 deals. 10 pound, $10 deals, yeah. 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 But all it's all folks. 10. All te of course. Everything's 10 Nice in the and vault. easy. Yeah. I like things that are nice and easy, Ben. Yeah. I do. So, yeah, it's going to be absolutely cracker. Cock a hoop, I was going to say then. Cracker, cracking deals to be had by everybody. She can all go cock a hoop because absolutely fabulous, fabulous opportunities to get hold of personally. Some of my favourites are in there um, and some amazing things. So we've got two hours lined up of good old crafty deals. And if you want and you need to ask anything, ask while you can. It's very interactive. If you want me to run something through and show you how it works, but I'm, oh, nice. I'm up with that. I'm up with that. Producing it went. Ah! 
Uh, but absolutely. Uh, honestly, if there's anything you want to ask, fire away. You've got you've got us for two hours. You might as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a good one. Let's make it nice and interactive. And also talking of interactivity, say hello, ask the questions. Uh, let's know what you're up to. Uh, let's get involved with the hashtag band. And also feel free to send in pictures. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, today. Oh, you'll have to go back to. I'm not going to explain all of this, but you'll have to go back to wake up for <laughs> today. We have to pick pictures of craft rooms and bathrooms. <laughs> Don't ask. Uh, but if you want to send us a picture of your craft room, we'd love to see it. If you want to send us a picture of your bathroom, we would also love to see it, especially if you've embossed your toilet roll. Right. Uh, <laughs> radical breakers on the socials. Hey to Lisa Sorensen. It says, good morning, y'all from Minnesota. Hey. Carletta's joined us from Arkansas. And Thea says, hoi, 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 buffaloi. It's King's Day today in the Netherlands, apparently. King's says Day? There. Yeah. Uh, the whole country has a party. Uh, for their king? Oh, tell us more, Thea. Mm. That's what I'm going to say. Tell us more because that sounds really, really intriguing. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, Nicola's telling us now. It is a national holiday in the Netherlands, 27th, marks the uh, birthday of King Willem Alexander. Ah, so is it like a bank holiday, like what we get over here? Is, it, is that what that is over there? Uh, tell us there. Well, the, yes, you're just saying because that, that's the sort of national colour, isn't it? Orange. Yes. In the Netherlands. So, yes. uh, what do you what what do you do for your party there? What what goes on? What what are the snacks that you're going to be eating? What's the drink you're going to be drinking when you're partying? Let us know because we're of course we're going to be having our own uh, party, aren't we? Weekend after next with our uh, oh our yes, new king, the, coronation. the coronation, the king's coronation. Mm, yes. yes, on Saturday the sixth. I know. We uh, we'll be having a party here, won't we? Because we I think we've got is it is, is it Becky? Ah. The Queen is in the house. Ah, Becky's Becky in. <laughs> the Queen, Becky Swan, is in the house uh, with Corinne, is it? I think. Oh, is ah. it Lily on Saturday? Sorry, apologies, Corinne. And Corinne I'm not really funny. Sunday. Corinne should be in, shouldn't he? Because for the coronation. Of course. Got to be. It's had to be. Got to be. But it's Lily. Ah. Uh, oh. Doesn't we really can, work. We kind of kind of make that work. Yeah, we can sort of work. We'll come. We'll come yeah, up with something. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, hi to Gareth. He says hello, Ben, Debbie, Rachel, all the team. Hi to Paul Prince. Time four from South Carolina. Carol guys joined us. Christine Mahoney's in. Elizabeth Red from Virginia. Evelyn Kiefer says good morning from beautiful Colorado. Uh, and Charlotte Everett says good afternoon. All my crafting lovelies. I've been crafting up a storm in the break. Uh, craft room slash bathroom says Rachel. We craft anywhere. I know, right? <laughs> We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere in the bathrooms. Right, uh, £10, $10 deals. Let's get headlong into this. All of these on the shop, the show shop today. Grab these whilst you can. These deals are incredible. They are here just for this craft vault. Uh, they will disappear after the craft vault. So get them now whilst you can. £10 or $10 for this desktop tote. This is normally £15, normally $20. And don't forget, you do get your platinum discount or wherever you are within Club Inspire off on your um, items on this show too. And what we'll do here is I'll quickly show you around this and to show you how, well, A, it looks the absolute business, B, not just for craft uh, storage solutions, but as we've heard from a lot of you, uh, you take this with you when you go on holiday for things like your smellies, for your makeups, because there are literally compartments for everything. Compartments on the front, you've even got a compartment there with your um, Velcro tab, compartments on the side, and then inside, again, really big, really, really spacious. Get your mini in there, no problem at all. Stack that up with loads of crafty goodies. Four pockets on the inside. A little bit difficult to see, but you can just about see those. Um, and then what I love about this the most, and this is why people travel with this one, is the base. It's got a nice solid base. That comes out, and then what you've got the ability to do with the zip on the bottom is to collapse this flat. So that's why a lot of people like to travel with this because it will go into your luggage, into your hanging luggage nice and easily. And then when you get to wherever you're going, you can simply zip up the bottom, pop the base back in, and then you've got that storage solution, be it for craft, be it for makeup, be it for whatever. Now, if you're looking at that and thinking, that's quite cute, it's quite dainty, uh, it looks like it could store a little, um, you know, a few little bits and pieces in. Let me just tell you, you can store in here pretty much a whole craft room, <laughs> example me please. <laughs> I'll gladly show you mine because I carry this absolutely everywhere with me. We'll get there just, there, there we go. go. Come and have a little closer look because um, you can absolutely cram 
a ton of things into these fabulous totes and the only reason ben is i like to show you this and i've done this deliberately let me just move that that, that way for you yeah. um is because Sorry, <laughs> i'm just gonna come in i, just I wanna... you're gonna come in it is isn't it <laughs> It is the same. You thought you thought it was like a tardy, didn't you? And you're thinking, yeah. no way. And you're... But it is absolutely the same bag. It there is, is nothing different. But I like to show you this because obviously you wouldn't be as extreme as me. We well, might want to be. You might not want to be as extreme as me. Uh, but I like to carry <laughs> everything around. Yeah. So, all right, come on then. Let's show you what we've got. Ball tools, we've got pens, we've got gel pens, we've got paint brushes, um, we've got glue sticks, we've got um, sanders, we've got pencils, pens, markers. Um, what do they call those? Quilling tools. Quilling tools, yeah. Uh, I've got my little stumps in mm -hmm. there. Uh, in my front pocket, I've got my... Um, Red liner tape. And spare, and spare ribbons. Um, I've got... Oh, honestly, Ben, it's crammed. This is just the outside. I've got my tape pens in there as well. And then inside, I'll tip it up, but I'm not I mean, going to tip it up. It is tons. And it goes down, deep down. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it even stores. Snack Excuse storage. Me. That snack storage because Brilliant. you know down at Hobby Maker they mm -hmm. give us these little biscuits mm -hmm. and I take one or two in with me just in case you get a little packet in the studio. Uh, but you get absolutely everything. I've got scissors, I've got glues, I've got um, bow makers, I've got a whole leaf of Unky Joey Gems. I've even got a bookmark, I've got my spare ribbons in here, I've got glue, I've got embossing powder. Part um, of me wants to tip pebble. that all out. <laughs> 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 and then put it back in again, but you'd kill me if I did that. But honestly, you? this is... Mm. This this is this is just showing you. I know I'm extreme. I'm, that's me all over. Uh, but um, it does carry a lot in there. It is a portable craft desk tote, whatever it is you want to call it. It sits on my craft desk as well, believe it or not, because I do like to have everything to hand that I know where everything is. So yes. for me, it's the ideal storage solution, and it does go everywhere with me. It goes in the boot of the car, down to Harvey Maker, wherever I go um, demonstrating. That tool bag goes absolutely everywhere with me and I even put things like <laughs> maybe inky backgrounds that I've done and I just store absolutely all sorts in it it is absolutely brilliant but that is what does it for me that uh, price the, does the mini fit in that bag the mini doesn't fit in that bag <laughs> <laughs> the mini will fit in here though uh, and some and then some I mean yeah. who knows there might be a mini in there somewhere there's <laughs> probably a pro like you know right down the depths of the bag somewhere uh, it holds so much uh, just for uh, purposes it doesn't obviously hold the pro um, <laughs> I'll show you my craft room on Saturday says Gareth Dobbs all oh, right we look forward to that because you're on the craft along um, and Mary says I love the build your own goodie bag concept it is live now on the website but only for today so if you love the idea and the concept of that make sure you get on the web it disappears from midnight let's have a look at some other great deals Debbie has got a fantastic deal when it comes to our waterfall dies uh, these are normally 25 pounds I think aren't they this is amazing absolutely amazing and I said this this morning when we gave you a little sneaky peek of some of these fabulous deals that are coming up I love a card that moves and when I say a card that moves a kinetic card I've got one here and if I just show you this what I mean um, you've got this little tab now a kinetic card means it's got movement to it but the waterfall creates this gorgeous pull down feature that flips back all of those gorgeous designs now I've just quickly ran in and raided John's Tracy's Julia's boxes. Yes, you did. Um, and I've oh, got, I've I not got, made a oh, mess of you. I didn't know I was oh. very, very good. Uh, but that's the kind of thing that you're going to be able to create. And when I say create, even down to this, even down to the uh, little areas here, the, the 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 style of it, the the sentiments on there, the stamps on there, this gorgeous die, it's all available in this fantastic kit. And I'm just going to lay it out so you can see exactly what you are getting for your £10 or $10. I'm really sorry, I'm going to have to move this mat. It's, I think it's lost its legs and it's driving me insane because it's slipping and sliding absolutely everywhere. Um, but this is your worker element die. This creates that waterfall. You can see the shape of the bottom of the butterfly, which means that you can then either die cut the elements into it or you can stamp into it as well. So you would die cut those, stamp in or leave it plain, 
that's what we've done with this one we've actually done a bit of both so we've gone onto some patterned cardstock as well as stamped and then colored it in so there's lots of things that you can do decorative elements as well on there even a little pull down tag that you can add a little bit of ribbon into the bottom if you wish to do so and then yank it with the ribbon um, you've got all the little details on here as well so there's tons on there and then to top it all you've got all the stamps and the stamps that stamp fits into that one that stamp fits into that one which then sits on top of them and then sits into those stages as well you've got all these sentiments on there too so it's an absolutely cracking cracking set that normally 25 pounds when we i remember these i remember these well 25 pounds but look at that price today to create these beautiful kinetic movement cards and even for your recipient you've got all the details on there that pull just literally shows you how to create that lovely flip which normally with a craft knife or yeah. craft ruler or scoreboard can be quite time consuming but it's all done for you and this lovely one's got an inverted nesting die behind the back of it as well so you can be using it with your other items that you might already own in your stash but creating that lovely kinetic waterfall absolutely amazing it is incredible we've got another one to show you shortly from that collection but you know for the actual concept itself let alone the metal that you're getting for your money there for eight pounds at eight dollars platinum is incredible um, and definitely worth picking up if you've not used one of those before for a tenner it's ridiculous value for money also ridiculous value for money is our discovery kit we've got the manga and comic one these again are just uh, any day of the week for 15 pounds 20 dollars incredible right because um they're a great gift idea these i think particularly great for um you know teens grandkids um you know the kids if they're getting into their art into their coloring these are brilliant um, i've just got the pens in this one but you will receive within this uh, six sheets to be coloring with you also get your how-to guide from uh, nicola yao she gives you all the tips and the hints and the inspiration um, but more than anything, as we discussed earlier on, if I just show you the pens that you're going to be getting in here, even if you're looking at that and thinking, well, I, I like my colouring, I like the deal, but ah, manga, not really the kind of thing that I normally colour, I would say to you, for the value for money on the pens that you're going to get alone, buy it anyway, even if you don't use the sheets that are in it, because you're going to get uh, two classics, you're going to get two of our illustrators too, and it's a lovely way also for those of you perhaps who are, maybe you are um, just about to complete the academy of color you're thinking about some pen choices off the back of that this is a great set particularly if you're into your alcohol coloring to decide whether you go uh, down the route of classics down the route of illustrators or maybe you decide after having got this that you go down the uh, the route of both here because you get the best of all worlds you get your fine nib your ultra fine nib you've got your chisel nib and that gorgeous brush nib across all of the pens that you get in here and a wonderful selection of colors as well um, plus an art liner too um, so you're actually going to get five pens within the set plus the art liner and then all of the artwork to go with it as well for eight pounds or eight dollars it's incredible um and as i've said you know for a gift idea for somebody a 15 pound 20 dollar set that you're paying uh just eight pounds or eight dollars for ten pounds ten dollars if, even if you're not in the club is incredible uh i have a meeting at 10 today says linda uh, so i've ordered some items already a nice one and thea says oh this is re um king's day the king and his family visit a special town and shake hands with the people. People do demonstrations, dancing and singing, etc. We drink orange bitter, Ooh. eat tomp tompus, mm. which is cake with cream and orange top. Oh. Flags are out. Okay. People sell a lot of old stuff on the street. Hey, well, if people sell stuff, isn't that an excuse to get your craft on and sell get some? Get a uh, table out there for you with pieces. all your crafty goodies. Yeah. So make, make and sell. Yeah, make and sell. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Lovely. That sounds idea. like a really good event. I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Thea, to you and anyone else who is watching from the Netherlands, happy King's Day and have a great time. Uh, right, back on over to Debbie, who has an incredible deal on the cent. Mm. On the Centura Metallic. Pearl. Yep, Centura Pearl and Precious Metals. Can we just tell you, we've got a lovely young man on the uh, on the on the uh, controls today, um, who's just training up. So our gorgeous Jamie 
um, is, is helping us today in that uh, lovely little room that we lock them all in. It's a really dark room, isn't it? It's, it's a dark got room. our lovely Jamie in there. So absolutely doing a cracking little job, young man. Uh, now then, look at this. This is our fabulous Centura Pearl Precious Metals, a four colour pack. You're getting nine sheets of each of those colours. So you're getting 36 sheets in total, 310 GSM. It's luxury, high quality, but affordable card stock. And especially at the price that you're seeing it today. Now, Centura Pearl, what is that? It's that lovely pearlescent shimmer finish with these precious metal colours running all the way through. And we'll start with that gorgeous platinum colour. It's absolutely divine. Um, really, really fabulous for your constructions, whether it be card bases, because you could score that down the centre. If you've got your Ultimate Pro, you could be doing your gatefolds with this as well, which I've done on numerous occasions. You could be doing it for your box making as well. So there's lots of things that you can do with this, but you can be assured every single time you are getting that luxury, high quality, yet affordable, craft mm. card stock it's card stock essentials but it's those card stock essentials that do you know if joking aside if theo has got a little stall outside oh yeah um you know what people will be drawn to because it's not it's not the cheap and cheerful kind of card stock although today look at that price it's definitely cheap um it's just <laughs> absolutely stunning luxury i hand card stock that every crafter should have and it's absolutely brilliant at an amazing price today. So it's definitely worth getting hold of um, and taking advantage of some of those £10 deals, uh, which, as we all know, if you're in that Platinum Club or brand new to Club Inspire today, you can get it for that knockdown 20% off of £8 or $8. So it's absolutely incredible is absolutely amazing uh charlotte says i've sent in a pic of a card that gracie made for a granny uh our craft room is just our dining room and it's far too messy we don't mind seeing mess as well as tidy craft rooms the, uh, the more pictures the better uh, that card that says charlotte is lovely i have several packs of it um listen if you picked up earlier on off debbie's side the uh shaped waterfall dies with the uh, be beautiful butterflies then uh you'll want to definitely pick up the um the uh, <laughs> but, uh you'll definitely want to pick up the uh cakes as well uh this is the make a wish and it's exactly what debbie was showing you earlier on you get the specific worker die to work um, with your cupcakes you've got all of the stamps included in there too and this is what i love actually is the fact that yes you, i mean whenever you use this you're going to be using this to make that incredible waterfall effect which i can demonstrate for you in just a second but actually if you just decide that you want to create a beautiful stamped uh project with the cupcake and with some of the sentiments that you've got here you can absolutely go and do that too but alongside the actual uh, worker die of course you've got the dies to be able to cut out your stamps you've got some nesting elements in there too little tags there's loads to love about this and again you know for the actual concept 24.99 26.95 is not asking the earth for 10 pounds or 10 dollars today i urge you to pick that up if you have not yet had a go with our shape waterfall dies they are incredible and this is what i mean i just if i just show you inside uh look at that it, it would just rather than Aww. using it as a waterfall makes just a really cute little cupcake love that on the inside of the card you might just decide to have that um as an embellishment on the outside of the card but look the actual card itself oh it's telling me to pull i wonder what happens when i pull this here this here lever <whistles> how cool is that and then you've got all of your different um, sentiments on there too. Nice way to be able to kind of uh, reveal a message as well. If you like things yeah. like our reveal wheel, if you like our, um, I always want to call them, <laughs> no, I won't say what I want to call them. If you like our uh, scratch <laughs> reveal, do you remember the, um, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, if you like scratch reveal and our reveal wheel, these are absolutely brilliant as well because they do allow you to sort of reveal a little hidden message. I'm going to get stuck doing this now because that is so much fun. It's easy to achieve when you've got this set for a tenner. Take it off our hands. Uh, that is another one of those £10, $10 deals on the craft bowl. Right, back to Debbie, uh, who has got a cutting mat. I have a self-healing cutting yes. mat. That is uh, not just any old cutting mat. Uh, we did ask, I got asked a question earlier on in the earlier show about the oh, difference yes. between our self-healing cutting mat and the green mats that are on the market, or possibly grey as well, because grey ones. Because I've asked the lady herself, who I said I'd be asked, because Becky's on her way up tonight. Oh yeah. So I'm being I'm being Mrs. Taxi for her because she's on a train. So she's coming up on the 
Come on a train and we'll do the taxi. What, taxi are you going to pick her up from the station? I don't think I'm picking her up from the station. I think she's coming here and we'll take her to the house. So oh. she's getting up to the house and then I'm going to bring her in tomorrow and Saturday. Well, good for you. She's here, she's here both days. Yeah. Uh, but she, uh, we got asked the question, what's the difference between the two? There isn't. They're the same. Oh. The self-healing. Yeah. So when you're using a rotary cutter onto one of those green or grey mats, it's the same. It's a self-healing mat. Uh, this is just our version. Our version of a self-healing mat that you have centimetres on one side. You can see the lovely grid work that you can be working with, especially if you work in centimetres. You're going down to those off um, increments. And then on the other side, so you've got imperial and your metric, because you've got your inches too. Now, you'll see in the centre, if you want to centre pieces up, you can absolutely do it. It's perfect for card making. It's also perfect for for all your fabrics and the fact that it's self-healing means that you can use your rotary cutters you can use your craft knives onto there and it does not it gives you that precision cut every single time but it, it means it self-heals itself Ben that's yeah. what it does excellent stuff again ten pounds ten dollars you don't really need to hear me keep saying the price because it's all the same um, across the show uh, love the paper for when I make cards for the men and boys in my family says Evelyn uh, lots of love for that card stock as well uh, if you are making cards you want some lovely inserts you want some lovely inserts that can become outserts uh, potentially uh, deck is that a word it is now uh, potentially decorative elements for um, box lids as well this is your uh, four by six card insert pad um, and what I love about this the most is that um, not only is it foiled in different colors but you've also got 24 sheets of the inserts in paper form 24 sheets of the inserts in vellum form as well um, and of course um, oh hello these are uncoated so you've got the ability to stamp onto these to ink onto these if you want to um, some of them have got those beautiful swirls on they're oil foiled so you've got silver you've got like rose gold in there too you've got beautiful frames there as well I think these just look absolutely beautiful very very classy and as I said earlier on the um, the color of the vellum and the paper that you've got in here I think really does lend itself to um, you know things like invites to uh, weddings potentially orders of service maybe little um, you know, menus on the table at the um, at the wedding I want to say banquet listen to me I'm posh aren't I at the wedding banquet but you've got your matching inserts um, in vellum as you have got in paper so once again you know you might think about using uh, one of these on the outside of your card and then matching it up with the uh, matching vellum insert on the inside fact is you've got 48 sheets in there you might want to multi-order these because uh, it's nigh on isn't it if you're a platinum member nigh on at that price today you can get two uh, for what you should be paying for the price of one on any other day um, eight pounds eight dollars if you're platinum that is a again an absolute steal there's loads on the website. We're going to give you a chance to check out your baskets. Don't forget, hit the shop, the show, see all of the uh, craft bolt deals and that build your own goodie bag. That is proving very popular today as well. Only here for today. It will not be on the web tomorrow. And whilst you're there, you might just see a bit of a sneaky peek as to something which is officially launching tomorrow, but is, well, live on the website right now for you to jump in and grab I shall say no more than that, but let's give you opportunity to check out your baskets and we'll come back with uh, more of these deals in just a few moments time. Welcome, Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better it. than your I'm a no and I live in a caravan. <laughs> I'm a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Oh, Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day.
Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family welcome back everybody thank you for shopping with us what have you bought can you tell me what's in your baskets please what are the best tenant deals that you see on the craft vault i mean what i've still got loads to show you here i'm just having a look i've got pencils to show you i've got stamp sets oh i've got kinetic dies to show you i've got some amazing uh, glitter cards to show you i've got adhesives if you like making flowers you like something that i've got coming up i mean i've got loads to still bring to you over the course of the next hour and, a half. and that's just my side because debbie's got tons of deals over there as well get ahead on the web see the deals pick up the tennis they won't be here tomorrow uh, that build your own goodie bag will not be here tomorrow either and i've also got um which will sort of intersperse throughout the show uh, deals from cartload which won't be here tomorrow either so if you see something that you like today don't go or oh, think i might come back for that tomorrow because a it might have sold out and b if you do come back for it it won't be the price that it is today so shop away to your heart's content today and pick up this next item that debbie's got because if you love dies that allow you to kind of cut through multiple different types of um materials multimedia dies and you love a jigsaw well this is right up your street it is and it really is and i i fell in love with our jigsaw uh, multimedia dies the minute we launched them and what we've just done is we've evolved them over the time we've brought in shapes yeah uh, we've brought in different kind of jigsaw pieces that have got like an abstract design these are absolutely fabulous because they're a bit more compact but absolutely pack a punch every single time you use them you can create a real true life full-on jigsaw if that's what you want to do you've got 10 piece puzzle this is what it actually is it's a die that creates a puzzle not just a pretty card you can see uh, the d difference between this to a thin metal die straight away what's noticeable is the deeper 
cut. And I said the deeper dye raised element, which gives that deeper cut, which means it can go into things like mount board, mm -hmm. multiple layers of central repel. It can go into material if you want to do a little bit of material cut with it as well. You just need to make sure you use your um, uh, metal shim when it comes to that. But lots of different mediums that you can go into. Of course, it was designed to work with mount board to create that lovely jigsaw uh, focal feature. Whether it be a jigsaw puzzle or whether it be something that you decorate onto the front of a card, you can take a little piece out if you want to do so but what i love about it is is you could pop a little piece a uh, picture of your loved one stick it into a box break it all up stick it into a little box and um, it's not going to be too challenging because it's only 10 pieces babe. yeah uh, and then you could have your lovely decorated box to lid top with the actual pic picture that you know then that puzzle is to be making so bespoke wise in terms of making these to sell you could be offering a service yeah to your customer what would you like? Send me a picture, you do the rest, you ship that out to them. This could be something that you make. And let me tell you, that price you see on the screen, you will get your money back and multiple times that back if you make to sell. If you do it for what I do it for, a little bit of a hobby, that's what I do it for now, more <laughs> used to be to feed the craft addiction uh, but literally you can um, use this in your hobby as well but it's one of those fun dye elements but a very workable jigsaw and when we're talking about personalization go and check those personalized jigsaws out and the price tags that are attached to them Ben because they're massive they're not cheap they're a lot more than what you're seeing on the screen right now and you can offer that bespoke per are you all right over there, Ben? I can, Sorry, see, your I can see your finger up. Let that's me fine. I'm just waiting. I've got something to add to what you're saying. Oh, go on so then. Go on then. No, you finished what you were saying. Oh, well, all I was going to say is you could bespokely make these for your customer um, or it could be just a fantastic... What I do at home, I make them for all my family. They get a jigsaw puzzle piece or, or a jigsaw card or something. <laughs> Whether they like it or not. Whether they like it or not, because they're just absolutely incredible. Um, two things. Firstly, you know, I added back in some of those cartload deals from yesterday. Yes. There's mount board. You're welcome. Oh. An absolute snip. And also, to back you up, and I know I've said this before, but I will mention it again. You know you mentioned about those uh, jigsaws, which can cost an absolute fortune when you send off. Before I worked here, and before I knew that um, jigsaw dies were a thing, it was probably, I'd say Daisy was probably about six or seven, so we're going back, what, four or five years ago. She had this picture of her and her then pony that she was riding, and she wanted a jigsaw made out of it. So I sent it off to one of those companies that you were talking about, sent oh, the yeah. picture off, yeah. yes, and I parted with a lot of cash Did you? Uh, for a, I think it was a, I think it might have been a 30 piece jigsaw, came lo lovely presented box, you can make your own box, uh, beautifully presented jigsaw, you can now make your own jigsaw, uh, I think I parted with over 40 pounds Ooh. worth of my hard earned money, but that goes to show what you can charge for these things. Yeah, I won't be charging that. Because I'd want my customers to keep coming back to me. Well, I never went 40 back. Forty pounds. Forty quid, yeah. That's crazy. Forty pounds. Uh, but just shows you the true yeah. value of what you're seeing on the screen in terms of if you do make to sell and you yeah. want to earn some pennies back. Let's not forget, this is the, for some people, this is a business. It's not just a hobby. Um, it's a business. It's what people want to do to create a little bit of an extra income. That's what you could be doing. That's why I absolutely love our jigsaw dies because I think it's just offering something that little bit different out there and they're absolutely fantastic and they cut like a dream. You only have to go Go back and search on our crafters tv or our youtube to see the amount of demonstrations that we've done with these fabulous dyes um they weren't that price <laughs> we'll not talk about that but you can go and grab it today while you can at that ridiculously low price definitely do it uh, thank you steve says i've sent in a picture of the tompos they're the cake that we're eating here in the Netherlands. I think Debbie will like it, you say? Yes, please. If it's cake, we'll all love it, to be fair. If it's yeah, anything to do with cake, we love it. We love the cake. Um, keep the pictures coming in, by the way. We will look at those in just a little while. One of the deals of the show has got to be the scissors. I saw loads of comments coming through uh, about these scissors earlier on. £16, $25. The big and the nine-inch scissors uh, for £8 or $8 if you're platinum. Get multiples of these. Uh, I know, uh, Terry, you earlier on says she's got nine sets of scissors um, for those of you who've not yet tried them 
The nine inch ones are absolutely brilliant. They are ergonomically designed, so they're gonna fit really, really nicely, really comfortably um, in your hand. You've got here as well, um, Japanese stainless steel. Th this is the absolute business, right? Um, it's go it's um, rust and corrosion um, resistant. It's also non-stick as well. So what you will find if you're cutting through things like your, um, uh, your, your pads, for example, if you pass, get a little bit of glue in here, it's not gonna get all gunked up and horrible. Um, they're going to resist against that. Uh, the other thing about these two, of course, is that you've got that measuring um, device here, that measurement on the front of your uh, blade allows you to cut with accuracy. As we were talking about earlier on, um, particularly good, you know, if you're doing construction pieces and you need to, uh, to cut a certain depth into a box, these are the scissors to go for. But as we've also discussed today, these scissors will work beautifully. If you do your paper craft, amazing. If you do your soft craft, amazing and you don't have to worry about getting um, you know, different sets of scissors for that, uh, use both for the same. Use these in the kitchen, use these in a the first aid kit, use these, like I've said, for soft craft, use these in your paper craft, get multiples of these at this price today and you'll have a set in the kitchen, you'll have a set in your craft room, uh, you might have a set, I don't know, in the bathroom, wherever it might be, um, but these are absolutely fantastic for eight pounds or eight dollars, one of the best deals on the show today, bar none, uh, grab them right now, cue the comments about the scissors in the chat, uh, and listen, if you don't believe me, and you don't believe Debbie Robinson, believe Debbie Fisher, who once said about these, why are these so great? Because they just work. <laughs> Sage words indeed, from the Yoda of craft. Mm, just work they do. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, what? I've just seen what you've got over there, mm -hmm. for a tenner. For a tether, and I love, right, so you know me, you know me very well, I love creator card die ranges that we do at Crafters Companion, and how they've evolved over the years, and I think they've been going, creator cards have been going now for about in excess of 10 years plus. Oh, okay. So I've been working for a company seven years, and they've been going, I mean, and I remember creator cards when they first came, they started off being quite, not to take away from those dies, Ben, but they were quite simple in design yeah then they've evolved they've got more intricate they've got as technology moved forward they've got more intricate and then leanne as leanne being leanne does is she thinks of all the different ways that you can use a creator card so what did she do she started splitting them into bits bits and bobs in different sections so that you can get really creative in that creator card die range and this one is off the chart fabulous it is our african savannah creator card die set which is just exquisite so you get a little bit of inspiration on the front what i love dearly love about this fabulous set is talk about endless possibilities with what mm. you can do with these and creating Aww. your um stand out cards absolutely phenomenal so what have we done with these that make them different we've split them and we've split them into two different scenes where you can build up layers yeah so you can create your aperture cards or your theater cards or your uh, diorama style cards and you can mix and match them so if i just twiddle that around you can mix and match so you can create some different scenes as well so for me it looks absolutely fabulous when you think about the different things that you can do with it and creating that 3d scene and then on the bottom of it all i must feel like it's a little scene out of lion king this it does look a bit uh, of a it does doesn't it yeah, I yeah. Rumble, no. whatever that song, that, wait, where did they start with that song how does he go that song i don't know what that is <laughs> but they go, don't they go <laughs> it's something like that isn't it I yeah that one. that's what this every time i see this african <laughs> savannah <laughs> die set i just want to burst out into lion king song yeah. um but absolutely incredible scenes and all of those dies and um, they're individual dies so you've got my favourite after a dog, giraffe. You've got your lion. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite sentence ever. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite after a dog, giraffe. <laughs> I don't know why that's tickled me so much. That is it's so true. funny. I love me doggies. I love me pooches. Uh, but the next animal afterwards comes. Come, it's the closest second it's ever going to get because it's nearly up there with the first. It's a giraffe. Yeah. I love giraffes. I think that's, they're so graceful. They're that's I'm slamming. Brilliant. Look, I'm getting so excited. <laughs> but I love a giraffe. I absolutely do. So you've got your that giraffe. You've got your lion. You've got your hippopotamus. hippopotamus. And you've also got your elephant. And then a lovely little oh, scene. Oh, and that is actually a rhino, isn't it? Oh, is it a rhino? Yeah. <laughs> I 
nothing could get an arbitrary brush between. Of course, it's a rhino debit. Turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a, oh, it's just, they're just glorious honestly and the detail in them as well so although i've got them cut down you can see the embossed detail so you can have these as silhouettes if you want and these lovely spots here if you cut this in white and then emboss it with your purple shim you can then color your giraffe in as well ben i absolutely yeah. love this set it's incredible and what incredible value for money ten pounds ten dollars bonkers bonkers crazy deal um there you go uh i love that i love that so much uh fav favorite animal for a dog giraffe i love a giraffe <laughs> <laughs> oh hippo <laughs> what do you what do you call a hippo that likes listening to rap music um i don't know ben what do you call a hippo that likes listening to what music rap music. rap music a hip hopopotamus <laughs> Hippopotamus, <laughs> hippopotamus. Oh, oh dear. dear. Dear, oh dear, don't they we do laugh. do crack me up. Don't we laugh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Kay Restad says the scissors are great for cutting up chicken as well, don't you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Who said that? Kay. Kay, I totally agree with you because my kitchen scissors do absolutely everything. When I say cut up, they cut up uh, mushrooms, they cut up bacon, rind off bacon, because obviously on this healthy oh, yeah, can't eat the rind. fat. Uh, they cut, what else do I cut into them? I've cut, I've cut all sorts into them. I use them for absolutely everything. Uh, bread, cut, so because I've obviously bought my daughter a set, I cut crusts off at bread. Because, the crusts off? Because I only think, because like knives are quite sharp, near little fingers, where I can be a bit more controlled with a pair of scissors uh -huh. away from what they're doing. So I cut why do you cut the crusts off? Don't they don't like the crust. They don't like the crusts. Oh. No, they don't like crusts. Typical kids. Oh. I mean, I think it's best bit of bread. I do. Although it makes me laugh because Ezra, I'll stand there, don't want to eat a crust on a sandwich, but yet when I take the crust off and I put it down there, hum, 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 nice banana, nice banana. That's what he says to me. I'm like, but you won't eat it on a sandwich, but you will eat it off there. I, kids. Kids, eh? Kids. Who'd have them? Who'd have them? Jinx. <laughs> Um, I have the African Savannah set and I love it, says Mary Reno. Who's got this set then? The Vintage Butterflies. Uh, perfect papillon. This is incroyable, as they say en français, because um, it is a big size butterfly in three different uh, ways for you, if you like. Uh, so you get the ability to um, cut your mat layer. Big size, as you can see, the actual size is at four by just over three inches. And then you get these two other layers here as well. So you can see how very quickly you can build up uh, from your mat layer to your second layer to your third layer, um, like different styles of butterfly, different designs. Use them individually if you so wish, but you can see that they create, well, as it says on the front of your um, packaging here, a perfect Papillon. Um, so once again, the ability here to be able to maybe do some paper piecing if you wish, colour these in should you wish as well, but three absolutely gorgeous dyes which will work beautifully to create, I mean a focal point, a centrepiece for any project. And again, the price on this is crazy. I don't think we um, appreciate just the deals that we're getting here. You're saving a tenner, you're saving $15.00 and then you're getting another 20% off if you're platinum. Club Inspire uh, Platinum price is eight pounds, eight dollars on these once again. Uh, please don't miss out. Um, Eleanor Jones has just says, I love the wild animals. This is a great shout. You could use those to make home decor for a baby's room. It would be so cute. Yes. And I guess you could sort of multi-cut them and potentially you could cut them out of like uh, materials, well, I'm just thinking like making like a little mobile maybe. Yeah, you could do a mobile, you could do a little paper mobile because it doesn't have to necessarily oh, be material. You could do you could a little light up box, some little lights in the you window. You love a light up box, don't you? Love a light up box, yeah, absolutely. That, yeah, absolutely you could do that. Um, can I just say though, that butterfly, I love that. It's possibly one of my favourite butterfly dyes we've ever in done the world. here at Crafters. I just love it and I use it so many times. Did you know my dress is a butterfly dress? You dressed as a butterfly? I've got papillons on my dress. Have you noticed? Did you not notice? You were talking about the foil design, but I've got butterflies all over my dress, so that's my... But he's looking now, look at him. Do there it? is. Look, there is. There's butterflies all over my dress. Thank you, producer Nick. You can see that. Look at me. What the heck? Oh, my God, you can see my silhouette there. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realise it was butterflies. I just yes, thought it was a nice abstract pattern. No, it's butterflies. There's little uh. butterfly wings. Big papillon wings. Ah. Yes, there you go. Well, you're a perfect papillon today oh, as well, though, you. aren't you? I love my butterflies. You know how much I love a good butterfly. Uh, do you want another good deal? 
Go on then. Do you want another one? Whilst we're here. Um, go on. Whilst we're go here. Go on. Well, 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 whilst we're here, we might as well. Um, I loved uh, Sarah Signature's uh, Frosty and Bright Christmas collection. And one of the dyes that I absolutely fell in love with was the fabulous Christmas Tree Edgeable. Now, on the packet, it looks minuscule. But it isn't. No. It's a whopper. It's Whoa. a great big whopper. And it's also a very useful die to have because yes. it cuts on the edge of your card. So you've got this gorgeous design which cuts down this edge. But what we've done is we've given you another piece to be able to cut out a solid, solid piece. Now, one of my Christmas tree decorations was I cut quite a few of these out in solids put a score line and then made myself a Christmas tree, Christmas tree star book, almost like a star book. Oh, yeah. And it looked absolutely fabulous what I gifted to um, somebody. Uh, but absolutely stunning die. The detail on this is absolutely gorgeous. And then the ability to cut into the cardstock, and this will cut on the edge. But having the full die, so the whole die means you can cut out a solid Christmas tree. And they could be little Christmas tree hangers because you could hang some thread threading through the star at the very top but the detail on that die is mm -hmm. absolutely sensational it really really is and then we're talking 10 pounds or 10 dollars uh, minus your club inspired discount you know that christmas comes round every year what i know did you know that ben it comes round every single year we're doing this year are we oh yeah we've got another one to, yeah another one coming up yeah another oh. yeah it's got not that far away Pff, don't i don't know mr parker and start counting down i'm not doing that right now so i'm gonna uh, do what a mr parker when he starts counting down oh. Go, oh there's only so many days to whatever and my, si my sister does that does she's got she? an app on her phone oh god no yeah. no no, we've got summer to have yet. I want summer. Uh, but it does come round every year. And a Christmas tree is something that never, ever, when it comes to Christmas, ever goes out of style. And this is absolutely beautiful. The detail on this is stunning. If you haven't got it, and maybe you want to get ahead of your Christmas makes, today could be the day. Because that deal, especially that £8 purple price, $8, £8, a cracking, cracking deal for a fabulous die and a lot bigger than it looks on the packet. I love it when you do that because it always thinks it's that small, but it's not at all. Look at the size of it. It's a whopper, Ben. <laughs> um, lots of love coming through for your dress now as well, by the way. Karen says, I love Debbie's dress and her jewellery. She looks so pretty today. Oh, thank you, Karen. That's lovely. Um, Betty Gossel says, I use the butterfly all the time. And Mary Rina says, ooh, frosty and bright uh, is one of my favourite collections. That tree is totally gorgeous. Um, something else which is totally gorgeous, our glitter pens, our glitter brush pens, sparkle pens. Uh, we've got the Earthy Natural uh, is the set that we've got here in these three colours. I kind of thought as well, um, have, you, have we got any cards that we could just sort of um, show the colours on over there if I bring these over to you, these, these pens? I'll you find some for you, uh, yeah. These are gorgeous. If you want to add uh, sparkle to your projects, these are amazing. You've got your holly leaf, your smoke quartz and your harvest moon here too. Um, Water soluble, of course, with these as well. So they're absolutely great for doing um, your um, your water tips with. Brush nib on these two. I tell you what, shall I? I'll scoot these over. Oh, you've got oh you've got your own, have you? No, 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 no. I oh. don't think I have. I oh. think you've. Got, I think I've got some, but different colours. Ah. So yes, absolutely. Come over. Get them over here. Get Let's them have over a here. I love you know me, and you know I love sparkle pens. Our sparkle mediums are sensational. Gorgeous colours. Have you given it a shake? Nearly. Now, when you get yours home, you will have to prime it, and it's very easy to prime. You just unscrew the barrel, take the yellow tap off, pop that back on, and then make sure you do this. Give it a good shake, wake it up. You're not giving it a good shake. Am I not? Give it, a, give it some welly, man. Oh. That's it, give it a good shake. Hurt my Brad. shoulder. <laughs> Is that really like, That's oh, ready now. He's got a sweat. He's broke out into a sweat. <laughs> Dad, Nicola. Nicola just says that's the most work he's done today. That is outrageous. <gasps> oh dear. I'm, I dare open it up now. You might have shook it too much. <laughs> 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 
it now the color what happens if you don't check it what if you don't shake it you're not mm. going to get the glitter you're not ah. going to get the mix up of the glitter now the lovely thing about these mm. is is that they are water soluble yeah. so you can take a water brush i personally wouldn't use a water brush i would personally use a clear overlay pen oh okay uh, to get and you can already see it as it's starting mm -hmm. to dry can you see that gorgeous sparkle now um <laughs> Would you leave that to dry naturally or would you heat that dry? Uh, I heat would that heat, dry? dry? I that. would heat dry, yeah. I would give it a heat dry. And mm. I think we well, might. Do you know if you plug me in? Um, it should be down there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not me. <laughs> <laughs> plug my heat gun yes. in for me, please, I'll if do you that would, you. kind sir. He's already plugged in. Is he already plugged in? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Do you want to dry me off then now, please? <laughs> <laughs> Set in one or two? Uh, two, please, the fastest. Okay. Yep, that's it. Go on. Get, uh, what are you drying? I'm just get, waiting for it to get up to temperature. <laughs> and I'm not, allowed to, I'm not allowed to test it, apparently, because Corinne goes a bit funny. That's warm now. Yeah, <laughs> she's not here. She's oh, yeah, fine. She's Come on, she's okay. not fine. Get, get, get it slapped on. Uh, but you see, what, when you let it dry naturally or when you heat, when you force the heat drying. Look at that! And then! It's, honestly, it's, it's incredible. Now, when you, wa when you water soluble it with water, let me just. Oh no! What? You can tell Sheena's been it building. What's the matter? There's no, um, there's no, um, what? Dabber, dabber. What's it called? Kitchen roll. Oh, kitchen roll. There's no kitchen roll. Kitchen she roll. Must have, she must kitchen have roll. used it all. Anyone want a kitchen roll? Kitchen Just roll. Just to get kitchen. the ex Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Right? It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Can we do a little bit of a close up, Jamie? And I'm just going to try. I just want to dab off the excess. Um. I tell you what, I'm going to do. Oh, George is going it's to get right, some. It's all right, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a uh, wipe. That's wet, though. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Oh, oh is he already gone? George is gone. Oh, God love him. Don't, mm. I don't tell him it's a uh, waste of time, yeah? No. That'd be fine. Be okay. fine. Let me just... I just want to dot that off just a second. Whoops, he's looking. Okay. Yeah? Just, just get, keep looking, George. We need keep some. Looking, keep looking, We need some. <laughs> Quickly, keep looking. We don't actually need some. We now, just... can you see that gorgeous mm. sparkle? In fact, can you call close that way, um, Jamie? Can you see the sparkle? Perfect. Yeah, there, yeah. Now, obviously, please don't look at me blobby bit. No. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like you spilt your coffee there. George is still looking for the, the toilet roll. <laughs> oh, God, love him. We've had him running riot. Mm. But you know what's lovely about it is mm. that you can still go in then and you could take things like, now, we're going to say use a bit of water, but you know mm. what I'm like with water, so mm, yeah. we're not going to, just remind me not to don't drink, drink it. it. No. Well, actually, I've already started. Oh, yeah. but because it's water soluble, you can go in mm -hmm. and you can do like your little faux bleaching techniques over the top as well. So I'm just going to drop a little bit down there. I'm going to use that there. Uh, oh, I am actually, yes. Oh, you Nick are. Was right. <laughs> you are going to need paper. Nick was for, right. We're looking all over for, for, for kitchen. Do you know uh, any blue tote roll that'll do? I'm telling you, it's that Sheena. Wait till I'll be having words. I'll what, be having words with that Sheena. What is she? Well, she's back in next Wednesday. Is she I back can, in I next can see Wednesday? some toilet uh, roll over there. Is that toilet roll there? Toilet roll? Yeah. In the studio. What's that over here? Oh, Let's I've got some. I've got. Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. It's a cloth. Do. It's a cloth. I can't use that. Um, Everybody's left the building. There's just me and Jamie in my ear. Let me Everyone's get some. On the hunt. Look at Tracy. She's in. She's in. She's have you got looking. some, Tracy? I can't see it, Tracy. Oh, she's going to come in and I find can't it straight see away. It. I'm telling you, our lovely Sheena was in the building yesterday. Oh, Brent look. arrived. Brent to come the rescue. Here. Brent to the rescue. Brent to the, Brent the rescue. Thank you so much, you little darling. Mwah. 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 Thank you very oh, much. All right, let me bring oh. in some kitchen roll for goodness sake. Get a off. piece. Get on. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you Thanks, so Brent. much. You Thank are you. a diamond, diamond, diamond. You are. You're a now, diamond, diamond, diamond. Yeah. Pop that off. Lift that off, Ooh. and that's where you can see the water soluble ness to it. That looks but like. Um, it hasn't lost any of the sparkle. Like Let's go in close there for you just for a second. Absolutely stunning. I can't get over the fact that you've got three of those gorgeous mm. colours. Minus the watered down bit, mm -hmm. but that beautiful, intense sparkle mm. is absolutely sensational. What a great price as well. I'm glad we showed that. Can I have my pens back, please? I've got to take them back over the other side of the studio. Yeah, There's lots of laughing emoji faces coming through. I wonder why. why. I don't know why. I wonder why that went all off uh, the rails a little bit then, didn't it? Yeah, it did a little yeah. bit. Yeah.
so that's what you guys bit. what you guys love right uh, if you want to pick those up <laughs> eight pounds eight dollars if you're platinum uh, Debbie, I think you've got another deal to, um, to show us. Was that my deal? Or well, your I deal? did have. Yeah, I missed that. Was, that was your deal. deal. I've right. got one down here, what but you it's can't stop. Oh, Centura Pearl. Centura Pearl. This yes. is an amazing deal. This is an amazing deal. Now, I will tell you, Craft Along on Saturday involves some A3 cardstock. Uh, okay. Now I've put multi-purpose cardstock on my list. However, it doesn't have to be multi-purpose cardstock. It could be A3. Pastels. Pastels. I'm saying it, let me just pump it that way around. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to do it again. Producing Nicola, is it okay? Hang on a minute. Didn't you open that pack this morning? Shh. I opened oh, the other one. Tracy's going to yeah, get you. I know she is. And the thing is, they're all in today, Bar Jake. We've got Julia, we've got John. Oh, we've yeah, got you Tracy. are taking a risk. I mean, she's already come in and gave me that look because of the kitchen roll fiasco. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> A3 cardstock. So this basically is two A4 stuck together when you think about it. So value for money, insane. When I say about a deal, this is a stunning deal. You are getting five pastel colours. So you've got that beautiful baby pink. And look at the gorgeousness. And I'm just going to do it again. Yes. That gorgeous shimmer every single time. You've got the baby blue. Who said about the mobiles with the um, oh, babies? That was me. Yeah. Yeah, mobiles. You could be cutting them in these colours if you know what sex you're having. If you're having a boy, you could cut it in the baby blue if you're only going oh, to have it. I like baby, that baby idea, baby. yes. If you don't know, you could use this gorgeous mint. Uh, and what else have we got in there as well? Let me just turn that around. We've got that gorgeous soft lilac. How beautiful is that? And then I say lastly, but by no means least, wait a minute, have I skipped a colour? Nope. You've got that beautiful, beautiful, um, gorgeous yellow. And I say yellow, it's that lovely, it's not canary colour. I'm trying to think of the proper word for the yellow, and I can't Have a look. The proper... Oh, what? It's, it's what? Not canary colour? Not canary. Canary's bright yellow. Ah. So you've got baby pink, yeah. you've got baby, baby blue, blue. Do, do, you've do, got do, the do, mint. mint, you've got the fabulous lilac. Yeah. Uh, mm. Lemon. Lemon yellow? Let's call honey, it lemon. Honey yellow. Just no, it's not honey. The, it's got a proper name, and I think oh, it might it? be lemon. Somebody will be able to help us out there, but I'll tell you what you don't need any help with. Stocking up on cardstock essential, A3 in size, which if you are following the craft along, you could use your A3 pastels if you want to do that, um, or any of your other A3 size cardstocks. Uh, but absolutely stellar deal. Um, eight pounds, eight dollars, or ten pounds, ten dollars, whichever way you look at it. A incredible, credible deal. And I, I was going to try and put it back in the packet, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, be fine. That'll be fine. What have you got over there, Ben? Is it cadmium yellow? What a yellow? Or 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 rolling yellow? No. What no. are you looking for these colours? On a, on a, a yellow colour chart. No, Golden no, no, yellow. no, no. You'd need Centura pearl yellow. Oh. Lemon. Lemon, lemon yellow. Lemon. We'll lemon call yellow. it lemon. It's got yeah. that lovely soft, not in your face yellow. That lovely soft pastel shade of lemon. Um. Thank you, Carrie. Says you, the lids on the sparkle pens were not on the right markers. That's fine. Yes. Well, yeah. Thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. And did you know what? I was going to blame whoever had them last because it wasn't me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. You are spot on correct there. Mm. Let's mix them up again as well for whoever uses them next time. <laughs> it's a fun game we like to play. Uh, if I'd done that, says our Rachel, I'd have had the wrong colour. Uh, Ted's was meant to be a girl. Well, there we go. Uh, and Sandra says uh, the lemon is absolutely beautiful. Please grab these deals. Uh, do not miss out. The consumables particularly... Um, and things like, you know, if you love our sparkle pens, um, then grab those again today, because there will come a point there, if you sat there thinking, well, I've already got these, then you think to yourself, well, actually, uh, somewhere down the line, you will need to buy more. So these are days where you've got things like your cardstock, you've got things like your, uh, your papers, you've got things like the pens. It's worth stocking up on them, because what's the point in getting them? It's pale lemon, apparently. Uh, what's the point in getting them when you have to pay full price? Get them today when you're getting a, a, a smash down price. Uh, pop and packs. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this is your opportunity to get two of the uh, pack and pops with the pick and pluck, um, with the pick and pluck for a low, low price because we've got the small one here in this here craft vault, 
We've also got the large one on the shop the day, uh, which is uh, brought back from the cartload that we had on Tuesday. So you can get two of the pack and pops at ridiculous low prices. This is the smallest one of the uh, pack and pops that we bring to you. Uh, but again, they really do pack a punch, the pack and pops with a pick and pluck. Uh, totally Tiffany, the best, I think, uh, looking totally Tiffany storage. Mm -hmm. They look the absolute real deal. I love the design on them. Um, I think they look great. You know, if you're traveling with these, they look amazing. And again, what you've got with these is the ability to store everything, house everything in there nice and safely. Uh, zip across the top. Again, keeps everything nice and safe. And then the two little uh, handles that you've got on the side there, that allows you uh, to just pop this down and then you can see all of the goodies that we've got inside here. Um, and once again, what you've got is that genius foam that you can just see inside that you've got the ability to almost like personalize and bespoke for whatever you want to pop in here. So this small case, for example, I think is a really great idea for popping in things like your smaller tools, like your bone folding tools, your flower forming tools, tweezers in there as well, your smaller scissors, um, your paper stumps. It's just absolutely fantastic. And that's why the items stand up proud for when you've got them on your craft desk there so you know if this was just a case without the foam inside obviously you wouldn't be able to do this because it'd be falling over all over the place stores in there beautifully you can pack in loads inside the pack and pop with the pick and pluck and then it's there dispensed for you nice and easily for you to work with and once you've finished you can simply just pop the top back up zip it over and everything is stored absolutely beautifully once again, as with the larger one, I would imagine a lot of people are using this for um, things like their makeup again, yeah, potentially. Makeup, yeah, absolutely. You can use it for um, anything then. Yeah, and wh whatever you want, really. The foam inside allows you to, to pick it out and pop in whatever you want. Eight pounds or eight dollars is ridiculous. Should be fourteen ninety nine or sixteen dollars ninety five. If you like the idea of the small one, check the shop the day page, and you'll find the large one on an equally ridiculous deal. It's not in the craft vault. We brought it back from Cartland on Tuesday, uh, so find that there, and you pick up two for an absolute steal. Right over to Debbie for some more sparkling glitter. Absolutely, I love that little way that you go. It is, it's all about the sparkle over my end for the next couple of uh, deals. Now, if you love um, our sparkle brush, brush pens, yeah. you're gonna love our glitter markers. It's all of that beautiful shimmering sparkle, but in a really fine tip applicator form. Uh, now, it works the same way. So, uh, and I'll say the same way in terms of their water-based. Um, they are very um, vibrant in their colours. These are the uh, neon lights, as we call them. So we've got lots of gorgeous colours on here. Um, in each pen, still a little ball bearing to give that little shake, shake to wake it. Because what you want to do is the water-based ink that's in there and that gorgeous vibrant colour is mixed with that ultra-fine glitter. Now, the difference there is, is obviously you just need to give it that shake. That's why I put that ball bearing there to mix it all up together in order for you to get those shimmering results every single time. This is the difference though. You have got this lovely um, detailed nib for, and I say a nib, it's still a nice rounded nib so if you love writing you can write with them if you love to add a bit of color you can absolutely do now another little thing i will just talk to you you're so talk oh, sorry i'll get my teeth back in we we showed you how to do the uh, priming of that pen with the sparkle pen yeah the one that you do with this once you've given it a shake is that you pump it and that you put, literally just give it some gentle taps pump down it up. I know every time, every time. Um, you're just going to give it a little pump till it, it literally runs through. And then, it, and up, oh, but honestly, the glit, I can see it already, Ben. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. It's still water based, but you can colour with it. You can also write with them as well. So I'm going to move in with a darker one. So if you love your lettering, so these, because of this lovely um, accurate nib, or I say the smooth rounded nib yes that's the word i'm going for it does mean that you can if you love drawing you can draw with them or whatever it is that you want to do right with them um you've got this beautiful beautiful shimmer uh, that you get through it once it dries you have to let it dry naturally but because it is water-based and this is the lovely thing about this and i'm just going to give it a little spritz with a couple of the colors it does mean that you can do lots of uh, water-based techniques with it yeah. in terms of get a little spritzer 
be, and this this perfectly shows. Oh, don't you dare tell me I've lost my spritzer. There it is. <laughs> because it's. Well, as far as you can find anything in that tote. Don't, don't, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can, of course, then do all your lovely little techniques because of that water base. And you don't lose any of that sparkle. I can see that sparkle, that ultra-fine glitter moving around between the inks. That's mm. because it's water-based. The gorgeous colours, look at that. Don't that look beautiful? Amazing. I've just used two colours there. It's absolutely stunning. I'm just going to give that a little blast just for a second to dry that off. But you have got this gorgeous, gorgeous um, plethora of beautiful neon colours to colour with, to write with, to um, embellish with, because you can use it for embellishment, and yeah. also to do all of your lovely techniques that you would do with a water-based medium. I'm just going to spin that out a little bit. Do you know, I remember when we first launched these, and um, it may well have been you, I, I can't... It I, was me, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Just, just saying, even if you were just buying these to write with and embellish with, they were worth the price, but now when you're showing us all these other tips and tricks that you can do with them, I mean, it... It, again, sort of takes these to the next level. For eight pounds or eight dollars, fan, <laughs> fan. <laughs> I'm just looking. <laughs> it looks like some kind of animal with it on <laughs> its legs, with its nose going into the ground and two legs. It <laughs> does look like. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I thought initially when you put that down? I thought it looked like a dragon, but now it definitely looks like a. It looks a bit like a chicken. No, anymore. Let me get rid of it. Let me get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. Can you see that lovely sparkle running through there? Let, oh, there you go. Let me cut. Debbie, what are you doing? You think you know which way to go by now. You've been doing it long enough. Uh, but absolutely stunning. That sparkle is absolutely beautiful. But that's that's your glitter markers and you've got of your uh, six colors in there which are just absolutely stunning colors you have got um, neon yellow neon violet you have neon pink neon blue neon orange and neon green nice 11.99 or 17.99 ha not today friends eight pounds or eight dollars if you're platinum it looked like an anteater said Rhonda on YouTube Yes, that's yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Um, and lots of love for that card that you were showing us as well. Jane Quigley says, that card went in my basket uh, and checked out. Happy days. Another deal which is brilliant, a great way for you to stock up um, on your crepe <coughs> paper um, is with this next set. The Say It With Flowers collection, all of the goodies that you need um, to create more of your crepe flowers. Uh, if you have the templates for these two, even better. Uh, but this again is a 12.99 uh, bundle that you're picking up for just a tenner today. Uh, if you love making flowers, then absolutely you are going to go for this set. All of the different colours of your um, florals in there, in your crepe paper, plus of course we give you the, um, the green for your foliage too. So you've got in there your carnation, your dahlia or dahlia, uh, you've got your peony, and then you've also got your, uh, your green in there too. So all of that is included. Alongside that, you're gonna get your uh, floral wire and you'll get your tape in there. My tape's disappeared, but you've got your tape included. And very importantly, you've got your phone balls as well, 12 phone balls included. Um, so a great way for you to be able to stock up on your uh, crepe goodies to make your crepe flowers. And again, if you've not tried this before, or maybe if it's something that you've done in the past um, and would love to get back into, uh, lots of reasons to jump in and buy this and make uh, the kind of flowers that you can see on this box within the collection. Eight pounds, eight dollars. Remember when we launched these, um, these absolutely flew off the shelves. So again, stock up now when we've got this down at a low, low price. If you have just joined us, uh, worth bearing in mind that these deals uh, will not be hanging around. Everything in this Craft Vault show is a tenner. 10 pounds, $10 before your discount. We obviously always pop on the platinum price at the bottom of the screen, but even if you're new to us, if you're a bronze member, still gonna get an extra 5% off that price on screen, 10% off, of course, if you're a silver, 15, if you're gold and so on and so forth. Um, so grab these deals whilst you can. And also worth bearing in mind on the website right now, we have got your build your own goodie bag. Uh, two, where you've got the ability to choose, I say a selection of items, um, tons of items from the uh, sections on the web. The best one as far as I'm concerned is the 10 items for 40, where if you shop savvily, you can pick up a uh, 100 pounds worth of product for 40. If you think I'm lying, go and have a look. It is all there for you. 
incredible deals to be had but that build your own goodie bag uh, event promo if you like is only on the website until midnight so uh, so make sure you grab it i'm loving the fact that we're getting comments through now as well uh, telling us what they saw in uh, the picture that you did. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, Rhonda saw an anteater. Lillian saw a raging bull. <laughs> um, but thank you for all of those. Are we showing, so are we seeing anyone's bathrooms at any point in the show? Is that I later? I I was waiting, I'm thinking, where's the, bathrooms the bathrooms and craft rooms? Where's the craft room? Yeah. No, we don't have to do them now. I was just wondering if we're doing it now or later. Uh, well, right the second now. Oh, we're gonna do them right the second now. Okay, uh, we're gonna do Ooh. them. Here we go. Let I've seen what's coming up. Look Cheryl at King. this. Let me come in close. Poor, blimey, Cheryl. Oh that my God, is that's what immaculate. you call neat, isn't it? That's immaculate. What a gorgeous, gorgeous craft room, Cheryl. Uh, can, <gasps> I, can I just say, all yeah. looks like it's beautifully organised. Siren storage boxes, craft kits, totally tip. Can I also say, I love your chair. Yes, it's like a I like that chair. chair, actually, yeah. Is yours as tidy as that, Debbie? <clears throat> Debbie, uh, I think Debbie's yes, mic's on. Ish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this another part of Cheryl's? Look, yeah. look. Look, look at, at this. the paper library you've got there. Oh my God, that's beautiful. <gasps> Are you getting craft room envy? Yes. That is amazing. Oh, I can also see another machine up there. <gasps> look at the look trays. Look at all the inks. Oh my God, look at all the inks. Look at all the pens. I love that shelving with all them storage. <gasps> I spy tape pens. Tape pen. Oh yes, I see I tape pens. I spy tape pens. I spy ink pads. I spy red liner tape. Oh I'm, my God! That's I'm not even amazing. joking you. I think that's. Quite I a spy big... the Gemini too. Oh yes, I see the Gemini too. Hide behind the cards. Oh dear Lord, that is beautiful. Um, I think one of the most well organised, neatest craft rooms I've ever seen. Uh, I was just going to say that's a really good creative space. Yeah, it is. Absolutely love it. Cheryl, that is incredible. Now, Hannah. Oh my yes. God, bathroom envy. Bathroom envy. A walk-in shower. Nice, that's what you want, isn't it? Oh, that is stunning, Hannah. Oh my yep. God, I love that. And we can go right into the shower in this next picture. Oh, wow. Is this the same shower? Yeah. Look at the tiles, they're amazing. They are amazing. It's like a little Ooh, beehive like the in there. I like the sit-down feature. I know, it's good that, isn't it? I like that, that's gorgeous, Ooh, Hannah. Oh, look at that, your little shelves with all your bits and pieces in. Oh my God, all that's in the same amazing. Theme. Can you oh, believe I... we're looking at people's bathrooms? <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest thing ever. I'm really enjoying this. This is lovely. Oh, Jotty. Oh, this is, is this what she was saying about a half painted half wall? Half painted wall, yeah. I, I, I love, which colour are you going with? Cream or green? Oh, it's got to be the green. It's like, it's more like a, is that like a duck egg blue, it looks like to me. But yeah, it's very nice. I Keep love up the, the good work. in the corner. Does look nice. Oh, oh, wait, oh, that's me. Hey, what, where? Oh, I can see you. myself. Yes, Karen, look at the view out of your craft room. Is that the view? Karen, your view is amazing. <gasps> Where's that to? You have God, to Karen, can I come? <laughs> can I come? You're, That's, you're, I you're love already that. There. Look at that view. Fancy, fancy crafting with that view. Yeah. That is stunning. I'm not meaning me, I'm meaning the greenery. <laughs> 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 oh, Karen, do you have somebody that lies on that cushion? Because I can see, look at all the dyes and the stamps up there at the top. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this. Now, loving this. Here's the, this is it. Lillian, you said we wouldn't be impressed with your picture. <laughs> it's the tote in the bathroom. <laughs> and Debbie's in the bathroom. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Lillian, I love it. And look, I'm on one of those wooden things. Oh, it's the wooden thing the in the bathroom. The wooden thing going across the bath. She's watching me with the tote. And, oh, I love it. Hey, I'm loving this, Lillian. Do you know what? The only thing that's missing from that. What's that? The imperial leather. That's it, yes. And then the that would be perfect, leather. that picture. Oh, we moved on. Oh, my God, look at Nancy's. This is like a full-on studio, isn't it? Oh, Nancy, I've got just a... I'm green with envy, actually. This is stunning. Look, and you're in the corner, Ben. Look. Look. That is absolutely fan. Fantastic. What a gorgeous craft room. Look at that. You've got Loving your, the pictures as well. In got the your midi there, got your Gemini going on. Uh, the, I mean, these are brilliant. Thank you, everyone, so much um, for showing us all these pictures. We'll do them all later on. Uh, do you know what? As much as I enjoyed looking at your craft rooms, I actually think I enjoyed looking at your bathrooms more. Oh, I love the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> that was bathroom, Anna. Thank you for sharing your bathroom uh, and your tea as well. That was lovely. I love seeing that. And Cher Cheryl, whose um, craft room you saw at the start, yes. said, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it so much, all the nice words. And then she said, I'd never show you the rest of my house. <laughs> as long as that creative space 
works for you. Does That's it matter it. about the rest? Does yeah. it matter about the rest? It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My goodness, that was so much fun. Thank you, everybody. Keep sending those pictures through. Um, we love that a lot. Uh, we're going to take a short break. Um, I know I sound like a stuck record, but we've got less than 40 minutes on the craft bot remaining. So take advantage of these, um, these £10, $10 deals. Like I've said, particularly good for stocking up on consumable things that you might already have. So there's pens, for example, the scissors you've got to get, the cardstock you've got to jump in and get. Go further into the show as well. Go further down the shop, the show, you'll see more items that we've not yet got to. We've got glitter card, we've got 3D chunky glue, tape pens. Talking to tape pens, don't forget the dotty tape pens are back in stock on the website for you as well. Grab those whilst we've got them. Uh, and whilst we do have a little bit of a break, don't forget to check out that build your own goodie bag, which lots of you are raving about. If you've not yet had a look, worth spending five minutes of your time delving through all of the deals there. But we'll come back uh, with more great deals on this craft vault in just a few moments time. But right now, head to the checkouts. We'll see you in about three or four minutes. Welcome, Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. We'll do it. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. tell you every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes and I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. Going to give a shout out to our backstage hero and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having a drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch 
has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges, the smooth running of behind the scenes, the scenes of Crafters TV. It's all, all down to our product coordination team. Welcome back. Uh, well done if you checked out your baskets during that short little break. Um, Adriana says, I'm having serious craft room envy. I'm so impressed. Some decent craft rooms there, to be fair, weren't there? Some really nice craft rooms. Uh, and some very well organised ones as well, which is, is nice to see. I like to see the messy ones as well. I've got to admit, I, I, I do like to see them if they are a little bit messy. A creative mess though, isn't it? I'll tell you who's got one of the most organised craft rooms. Who's that? Uh, Craig. Yes. I've uh, been around his house a couple of times. His craft room it's is beautiful, immaculate. Craft room. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm. Apart from when it gets creative. Yes. And then it gets a bit messy, but he tidies it up straight away. Mm. To be honest, so do I. Since I did my... And let me tell you now, do not be ashamed in sharing your um, craft rooms as they are now. If you think it's messy, you ain't seen nothing till you saw mine two years ago. Because... <laughs> Never mind the snigger. Did you hear the snigger in my ear then? Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> I held myself accountable and I thought I needed to share with you because it took me, I had 10, I, well, I had two weeks off, 10 days it took me, 10 days to clear through, get rid, go and give to charity and then rebuild and remove it. 10 full on days from working from like eight o'clock in the morning till 10, 11 o'clock at night, sometimes later. So never ever be ashamed to share your crafty rooms because, <laughs> I can outdo you all. <laughs> Not anymore, though. Not anymore. <laughs> I've now got that nice designated space. That's so funny. Three of those days was just trying to get through the door into the craft room. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Um, and Karen Holmes says, Debbie, you are more than welcome to Northern Ireland oh. anytime. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I love Northern Ireland. Let me just tell you, I've been there once or twice, so I absolutely love Northern Ireland. Karen, don't tempt me. <laughs> I might just get on that plane and hop over there because it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Never been. Have you not? No. You need to go. Hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. I shall put it on my list of places to visit. Uh, right, we got about half an hour left, so let's rattle through some uh, deals. Uh, I know, it's flown, isn't it? It's flown. Uh, anything else that you guys want to see, let us know. Um, but we will carry on with uh, items that we have uh, got within this craft vault. Debbie has got some more. Sparkle pens. I have. So you could get yourself some more beautiful sparkle pens uh, in either form of our glitter marker. Uh, this time, the colours that you're getting, now you're not going to have to excuse me because it's not me. I will just tell you, there is a pink in this. <clears throat> a pig? Uh, I've got a dark blue in there for some strange reason. We've got a random blue colour in there. Oh. Um, but yes, you are getting three gorgeous colours. Rose quartz, uh, soft jade and moonstone. But you've still got these fabulous glitter marker pens with that beautiful brush nib for brush lettering, for colouring, for lots and lots of different techniques that you can do with this. But you will get every single time that impactful, absolutely stunning array of those gorgeous colours with that shimmering glitter running through them. It is flexible brush nib, which means you can do your brush lettering as well as your colouring into the tiny nooks and crannies, as well as lay down a lot of colour. It's water soluble as well, so it does mean that you can do all your lovely techniques with it. Um, you're going to absolutely love these. I love the price. The price is phenomenal for what you're getting. Yeah. Um, and you will get the rose quartz in there, not the dark blue. Nice. Uh, phenomenal price. Only 10 days, says Rhonda. Taking me months to wade through all my stuff. <laughs> um, another deal from me quickly to show you. Again, this is an um, unopened uh, packet, but um, I'll show you the, the reverse of this so you can see. It's from the Garden Party collection, a really beautiful um, Sarah's signature collection, which I think a lot of you have loved over the course of the years. If you've not yet picked up this set, it's a great day to be able to do it. Uh, £15 or $17 worth of stamp and dies. And um, quite a nice little one to go for, particularly with things like the old um, coronation on the way. Um, if you're looking to make maybe little invites to a garden party that you're holding potentially, or just to have a lovely um, decorative set of stamps and dies when it comes to that beautiful parasol. Love the dainty lace that you've got here. Um, again, in stamp and die form. And that beautiful border too. Um, again, whether you're stamping that or whether you're just gonna stamp and then cut that out, it's gonna create some really, really beautiful projects. Um, very dainty. 
Uh, very beautiful to work with as well, and a great price today. It's actually 12 elements you're getting in total, all the stamps, all the dies with a 30% saving. Uh, that is just eight pounds or eight dollars once again, uh, as has every item been on this show so far. See, no lies from me, all the craft folk goodies at a tenner, whether you're shopping in the US or indeed in the UK, uh, grab them whilst you can. Now, uh, let's have a look at something else because um, we haven't had much in the way of storage on this show, apart from the small pack and pop, which I know has been very popular. What about something a bit bigger from the buddy bag range? Is that is that Kirsten I spy over there? She's a big girl. Of course she is. Can you just tell you right now, Kirsten is a big, big girl. She is going to hold a ton of things for you in here now with tiffany you always know that her buddy bags they literally are the crafter's best friend because they are what you call the storage um, part of yours so we've just been joking aside with all the craft rooms this beauty she's absolutely massive and i'm going to hold her up so you can see just how big she actually is and we've just put a few little things in here now what i love about um totally tiffany is that you've got the storage system but it gives you that sturdy support as well so it has got it in a tray mm -hmm. and then you've got all of that space now we've just put a few things as a we royal we our lovely our lovely uh, nick has uh, sorted this out for uh, for us but you've got the ability to pop in there maybe dies on your magnetic sheets or maybe you want to keep them in their packets and store them all in maybe you want to pop into their foam pads maybe you want to pop in there scraps of your paper if you're going out and about um whatever it is that you want to store in there now nicola can i just check with you have we got these storage things that are going in it as well or is it just the inner tray yeah because i just want to double double check that we have because i what he's saying what you get in here is the uh, body bag and the inner tray but i can't see the oh you do nicola you do get the five dividers in there That's as an well. That's more crazy deal. That is more because you can buy these yeah. separately to fill in. So although we're giving you five to get yourself set off with, you can put as whatever it is you want. It could be photos. You know your scrapbooks. It could be your photos that you're going to have in your scrapbook um, pages that you're going to come to back at a later date. Uh, but it is also a fantastic storage system. And I love her because she's on a little bit of a curve. You see her? She's like this curve, this like stepper curve, yeah. which I just think is absolutely fabulous. And of course, with all of the Tiffany's, you have that reinforced handle. So if she sits on your shelf, you can pull her off really easily, um, or you can store her on your craft desk. You could perhaps potentially put that down there and then craft with all your elements. Mm. And then at the end of your craft day, to put everything back in there uh, and store her nice and neatly on your desk. Wait a minute, 10 pounds, $10. I know, right? For a biggie. I know. For so she's yeah. Karen's bigger sister, isn't she? She is, yes. I like her. Yes, I forgot about that. Yes. She's... She is the biggest uh, mm. sister of those two. Uh, but she's absolutely fabulous. And she really is a great storage system. I love Tiffany. I love what she does. She's been my lifesaver in terms of my craft storage uh, room or my craft work room, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, she's absolutely fabulous. £10, $10. And then your discount off that you can go as low as eight pounds or eight dollars. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Love it. Absolutely fab. I love that <laughs> little thing you're doing there. Da, 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 da. Um, I store embossing folders in mine, says Rachel. Perfect for that. Uh, but the question from Kathy says, Debbie, how do you store your sentiment stamps? All in one place, with collection, or by category, i.e., birthday, love, quirky, etc. That's a very good question. So my stamps, do you mean sentiment stamps? Is that what it says? Uh, or yes. any stamps? Sentiment stamps. So when we have latest collections, they stay with the collection until that collection's gone or, you know, we, we, and then I store them in um, like anniversaries, birthdays, whatever it is, generic. And I store them in, do you know the purple folders? Yep. And we have the stamp ones. Yep. Once that's been retired off or we don't have them anymore, they then go into like um, their storage system and I pop them in there. So that's how I store mine. When a current collection comes out, they stay with the current collections because obviously demonstrating wise, we need to be able to know where everything is. And I know where exactly every single thing is in my craft room now. That's something I couldn't tell you two years ago. There were things I were finding in there when I was, you know, when I was pulling everything out yeah. and doing it all that I genuinely forgot I got. Whereas now, if you were to say to me, where is Sarah's signature uh, once upon a time collection? I could take you straight to it um, because I know exactly where everything is. Edibles are in one drawer. 
Creator cards are in one drawer, Christmas items are in one drawer, uh, Nature's Gardens now in two drawers, Sarah Signature Collection is now in three drawers, but I know where <laughs> everything is because that's how I store it. But once that's, at, once that's gone, you know, once that collection's gone, I then store it into a generic happy birthdays, anniversaries, and, and so on, so that I know where everything is. That is very impressive. Uh, there you go, Cathy. Hopefully that has answered that question. Um, do you know what? I've got a um, little box die set with stencil, which I want to say, I have never seen this one before. No, because Ooh. I was looking at it thinking, I'm sure, because you get a stencil included in here, yes. right, to allow you to create all of these different box sizes. Yes. I have definitely not seen this before. So this is a die that um, I've loved demonstrating for many, many, many a moon. How have I It's this, absolutely then? incredible because you can have a four-sided box, yeah. a five-sided box, a six-sided box, and so on because of the stencil. the stencil. We could have done the dies, but the dies would have hiked up the price because if you put loads yeah. of metal into a die set, it, it, it you know, it's the nature of every, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but where you've got a stencil, yeah means that you can absolutely take it from four-sided right up, up to, to a ten-sided ten -sided box. And it's absolutely incredible. Got all from dice. that one die set. Yeah. Yeah. That is unbelievable. And again, just like, do you know what? It's like when we were talking about earlier on the um, the waterfall dies that you've got, that you think about the concept and the, the, you're sort of paying for the concept at £20, $30 for something like this, which is like so super versatile to create all of those different boxes. For eight pounds or eight dollars today, if you're a platinum member, or ten pounds, ten dollars, that you're saving ten, you're saving almost twenty if you're in the US. If you like me are seeing this for the first time, then it is definitely worth um, adding that one into your basket, picking it up, giving it a go, having a try with that. These are all sort of like try me prices today. So again, if that's something which uh, you think you might love, get it in your basket and get it uh, checked out. Uh, Michelle, it's for you on YouTube. Just saying, I still need to organise by category. Sounds very organised, Debbie's. Craft room, doesn't it? Do you know what, for a second, it reminded me of like when you, you go to the library at the Dewey Decimal System and they could, you know, take you straight to where the particular book was. It's <laughs> like you, isn't it, with your little system it there? It is now. Ooh. It didn't used to be. No. It didn't used to be. It were like, it, go back and look at the video two years ago and you'll understand what I mean. Couldn't find anything, didn't know where anything were. And it started to get to be where I didn't want to go into work in there. Mm. And then I'd sit on the kitchen table and just go and get little bits out. And, and honestly, Sorting it out, no matter what space. When I first started crafting, I sat at a kitchen table for a good three, four, possibly five years, mm. where I sat at the kitchen table and just had a set of drawers and just used a kitchen, kitchen table. Then it got a little bit bigger. Then it went into other rooms, into the bedroom, into the hall, into the room, as it does. Then when the kids started moving out, I took on one bedroom, went into the bedroom. But it's nice to have a nice creative space. Yeah. Storage is a great thing. It really is. Um, and Crafty Angie, you like me. He said, I ordered that box, never opened it. <gasps> I had no idea that it allowed you to make big boxes. Well, there you go. So um, obviously you weren't picking this up today because you've already got it. But nice to think that now you know what you can do with it, uh, you'll be opening that up and giving it a go because it does look amazing. Talking of amazing, this is a deal that everyone needs to snap up. You know, we've been talking about the cardstock, talking about stocking up on your pens. Gilding flakes are a craft room must-have, right? And why oh. would you pay full price when you can pick up some of our luxury gilding flakes today for a tenner? I know, because, and not just any old, it's the coloured ones. And these colours are your uh, blush colours. So it's your, it's your shade of pinks. So you've got the beautiful soft rose colour. I adore our gilding flakes. They're absolutely incredible. And I'll, I'll open one up in a second to show you why. Uh, rose gold, absolutely stunning. Again, just absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Because do you know what? They dumb me up like a kipper again. <laughs> oh, I got the wrong lids on the wrong... They've got the wrong, wrong ones on again. I'm looking at it thinking that is pretty pink. Um, not rose gold. However, it doesn't matter. Yours when you get it home. And I'll just lift it off so you can see what I mean by pretty pink. Let's just, because uh, this, this is on for a reason. So it's just, stop. but look at that. Oh, shall we do it from above? Yeah, let's go above. When we say pretty in pink, how pretty is that? So you've got rose gold, soft rose, and pretty pink, which are absolutely stunning. And the lovely thing about our flakes is they're soft. They're so super soft. They're beautiful to lay down. You don't need a lot, and I promise you, you don't need a lot. Uh, but what you have got are three gorgeous blush pinks 
in the form of your, and I'll do it this way so I know, I can see now that you've got rose gold and you can see that rose gold feature. You've got pretty pink and then you've got soft rose, which is that lovely in between the two kind of pinks. Stunning, gorgeous, lots of techniques that you can do with them um, from glue pens to uh, tape runners to red liner tapes to your self-adhesive sheets um, tons and tons of things that you can do with them to really add that luxury uh, foiled look in the form of a glitter flake amazing uh, also in the uh, craft bolt deals for you don't forget as I mentioned cartload deals added to the shop the day uh, the Simon story still proving really really popular uh, the wildflower um, 12 by 12 paper pad if you've not seen the price on that hit the shop the day uh, that is uh, about 880 I think if you're shopping in the UK and you're a platinum member uh, we've got the luxury um, glitter card stock and our um, uh, mirror card stock deals uh, at unbelievable prices all on the shop the day for you uh, even lower than the price tags that you're seeing here on the uh, craft vault so make sure you hit the uh, the shop the day with some of those cartload deals like I say that I rolled back from Tuesday uh, another great deal on uh, stamps and dies when it comes to your shaped shaker stamp and die set this is uh, oh hello beautiful <laughs> uh, if you like making shakers this is a great way to be able to do it because you've got all of the um, dies there within this set to be able to make a beautiful uh, butterfly shaker once again in essence you know you don't always have to make shakers with these you've got um, beautiful dies to add um, you know uh, layers to your cards um, to your box lids but in essence you're using these together to create the aperture to then fill it with some of your uh, favorite shaker elements and I just think that's a really really nice easy way once again to be able to get into making shaker cards really super cute for the fact as well that not only do you get um, the stamps and the dies but you get the little banner there as well a uh, little die banner and then you can pop in um, some of the sentiments that you've got with this collection I'll try and read those uh, oh, I can't, they're not on the back. They say, I'll have to do it up here. They say, <laughs> thank you so very much. Fluttering by to say, hello. Enjoy your special day and hello beautiful. Um, really, really stunning uh, creating that shape card with ease and it's again isn't it just allowing you maybe as a newbie thinking that you want to maybe get away from just doing like your tent fold cards your bog standard shapes you want to start making these um shaped cards quickly and easily these are the sets that you need to pick up and not only shapes but also with that um, shaker element in it too in no time at all you're going to be making uh, stunning cards you're saving 30 percent off these uh, again you're down to eight pounds or eight dollars if you are platinum now uh, loads of great deals on this show. Uh, we've already had um, some jigsaw dies for you at incredible prices. And as we've chatted about, jigsaw dies work perfectly with uh, mount board. But actually, Debbie, for any kind of like construction, mount board is an absolute must have, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So I was, I was tempted with my Craft Along project. Um, I was tempted to make my folio out of mount board, um, but I thought I'd steer clear of it just, just for this once. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, I've run out of mount board, uh, which is why I couldn't <laughs> use it. Uh, but yeah, you can absolutely use it in your craft projects. If you've seen some of Michelle's lovely work, she uses mount board a lot. Um, it's not just for your jigsaw dies. Um, you are getting 10 sheets, and I say 10 sheets, it's 10 packs. These are absolutely, and I'm just gonna show you, it's not a paper. No. This is mount board. It is perfect for all of your needs in terms of construction. So if you do make folios, this is a good one to have. Um, because you can do things with it and cutting into it and scoring into it as well. So there's lots of things that you can do with it, as well as using them for your fabulous jigsaw dies. And uh, did you catch Sheena yesterday? Because I do believe a little Dickie Bird told me she had mount board on the show that absolutely flew um, and didn't stay around for very long. So maybe today is your opportunity to get hold of your mount board um, for all of the those lovely techniques that Sheena might have shown you. Um, it's nothing more exciting than that. The price is phenomenal. 10 sheets of, and I say 10 sheets, I, I always feel like I'm, it's 10 actual physical mount boards. Yes. Um, for £8 or $8. And they're on 9 by 12 in size as well. So absolutely fabulous. Um, and a great one to stock up on all of your mount boardy needs. Mount boardy needs. Uh, next up, we've got one of our, um, I, I, I would show you the die, but I can't. I've only got the packet. 
uh, the uh, shaped pop-out sentiment. You, you potentially have seen these before, but what they allow you to do is create uh, that pop-out effect um, inside your card. This one says, just for you. It's one die that creates that effect for you. And actually, with a little bit of uh, manipulation, making sure that you're doing all of your uh, burnishing correctly once you've cut this into your, uh, your cardstock or your paper, you're gonna get that effect really, really easily as well. And then um, what I love about these two is if you multi-cut them, you've got the ability to be able to kind of like layer up the letters and that little heart there as well in different colors using your different cardstock. So once again, you can really create a bespoke effect with these dies. And what I love about the, the pop-out sentiments, and we had it with like the pop-out characters and the pop-out scenes, that that kind of element within a project that you're not necessarily gonna expect, the recipient isn't gonna expect. If you've created a beautiful um, outer part of your card, these are kind of like that added little element, aren't it? That added little embellishment, if you like, that added little surprise uh, for whoever the recipient might be to open up the card, and then that, they get that beautiful, in this case, uh, just for you popping out of the center of the card. As I say, can't show you the die, but that's what it looks like. Does all of the hard work for you once again, uh, and within moments, you're gonna be creating the most beautiful surprise pop-out effects from your projects for what should be $12.99 or $14.95 at £10 or $10 with a 20% saving uh, is the price on that one. Um, these pop-out sentiments are my all-time favorite dies, says Karen Fisher. Um, and Kirsty D says, I love using the shaker dies. Yep, uh, tell everybody if they haven't got them why they need to grab them over the course of this show. Uh, we have got, what, uh, less than 15 minutes remaining. Um, so snap up the deals whilst you can uh, because there are some incredible buys like the one that Debbie has got over the other side at Absolutely. Studio. Absolutely, I've got another jigsaw die for you this time in keeping with my lovely dress. Uh, your oh, yeah. Papillon, a lovely butterfly one. I use this die so many times, I can't tell you. Um, I absolutely love it. You can create all of those lovely, unique, personalised keepsakes, whether it be cards, whether it be gifts, whether you want to use it as a jigsaw. Um, absolutely beautiful. And again, you can see this time it's a 12-piece jigsaw. Um, and again, using for all of your cork boards, as well as mount boards, as well as metal, as well as leather, Leather, fabric and so much more it really is absolutely a gorgeous multimedia die that you are going to be able to take and create lots of beautiful things with this um, 10 pounds or 10 dollars again going down to the eight pounds Debbie's trying to get that in the packet and she mm -hmm. can't uh, Open the hole, Debbie. Open the hole. Get it in the hole. I, there you, I wasn't looking at it. I thought you chucked it over your shoulder. No, I just... I'm, do you know what you're thinking? Oh, I can cleverly do that. Get that into there while I'm on air. Of course I can. No, you can't. Um, but, yeah, absolutely fabulous, fabulous die. And believe you me, this die is one of those dies that I know once you've got it home at that incredible price, you are going to use so many times. And, again, bespokely made gifts. If you're making to sell, you could pop this on, on you know, in your little Etsy stores, whatever, have a few samples and say, I can make this bespokely for you to fit your needs, whether it be a baby, a doggy, or a cat, or a giraffe. <laughs> She thought the same as me, she said it at the same time. Uh, but you can bespokely make those um, to fit that person's need um, and make those gorgeous jigsaws. What was your favorite animal after a dog again? Giraffe! I love a giraffe. Aren't they graceful? Beautiful, beautiful creatures they are. I, I get confused because I know um, Debbie Fisher loves giraffes, doesn't she? She does. That's Is her it favorite. you or her that went on the giraffe experience? No, I want to go on the giraffe experience. I, I drop hints all the time to my girls and my son. He don't pick up on those hints. I'm lucky if I get a bottle of Bailey's. Uh, to be fair, though, nice drink. Uh, but yeah, I get I int all the time and I keep saying, do you know, I'd love to have a little giraffe experience. Go and feed the giraffes, go and have a little look. In, oh, it falls on deaf ears. So yeah, I'm just a bit envious of Miss Fisher because she has done the giraffe experience. Yeah. There was one, where did we go? I think it might have been... No, I haven't done a giraffe experience, but I saw people doing them. Uh, where was our nearest zoo? Um, oh, when we lived back down in Buckinghamshire. I want to say it was Woburn Safari Park, but it wasn't there because you don't get out of the car. Oh, do you get out of the car on a safari park? You have the drive through bit and then Some you get out of the car. Yeah, you can get. Um, what was it? A Whipsnade Zoo, that's where it was. What, what zoo? Whipsnade. 
Whipsnade. Whipsnade. That sound, that, maybe that's where Debbie went for hers, because that's where um, I think we took Daisy there for her maybe sixth or seventh birthday. And when we went there, there were um, people within the uh, enclosure doing um, giraffe experiences. Oh. Yeah, they had to get out a really long ladder. They were climbing up this ladder <laughs> really long <laughs> to feed the giraffe and then give it a carrot or whatever it was and then back down again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look tiring is all I would say. They weren't really climbing up a ladder. And it wasn't in a carrot, because obviously you wouldn't be able to bend down to reach the carrot, would it? No. 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 They have trees. to eat. What? It's trees and, and bits and bobs into it. Up, they put them high up, don't they, in those cages yeah. for them, so that they don't have to yeah. do the straining, yeah. There's a little baby one there as well when we went. Oh. Little baby giraffe. So, it's, they are cute. I can understand why There's you love giraffes. There is a gorgeous place. I can't remember where it is, because I've seen it all over tiktok -y and that. Do you know where they go in these... Tiki talk, I call it. Yeah. Um, do you know like cabins that are overlooking the safaris? Oh yes, and, and you can stay and, in them. Oh my God, I nearly, I was crying. I was watching this one creator who I follow and um, he took his family and his kids were absolutely blown away. Their faces would have made my, but, but, I mean, it's not, you know, I know it's not for everybody because it's quite pricey, but the experience to be able to open up and, uh, in a morning and have that sight of them roaming around and they have different enclosures, the giraffes, with the elephants, with the lions. So you can choose which one it is, which kingdom you want to go to. So the giraffe one, I did drop that in, but my daughter, I shan't repeat what my daughter said, because she saw the price. Did she say you're having a giraffe? Yeah, you're having a giraffe, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Do they actually, be, can they, so, so you're in the, like, giraffe, you're in the cabin, you're in the, you're in the log cabin, yeah, in yeah. the kingdom, yeah. So you're in the cabin, yeah. so you could wake up in the morning, there could be a giraffe looking there. in your window. Not in the window but looking outside your window walking oh. past yeah so within good distance but yeah just the sight was absolutely stunning i can but dream one day one day when mr you know mr white sweeps in on his giraffe big white or <laughs> big white horse like comes that. and sco <laughs> scoops me up i brought you giraffe <laughs> <laughs> jump on jump on <laughs> <laughs> and just treats me to the life, you know, that you're accustomed in my dreams. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's my... That. I'm going to stick with that. One day it'll happen. One day it will. <sighs> Mr. Bosby, hint, hint. Yeah. Your birthday's October, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. Mm. Maybe I'll see how much your giraffe experience is and... <laughs> hey, guess whose birthday is this weekend? Huh? Whose birthday is it this week? This guy. <laughs> 35. Oh, you don't look a day over. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Tell you what, I do, I do what, they're it very quiet in our family. Because uh, normally I my mum messages or like Laura, I chat with the kids. I have no idea. Presents, they're planning something. What we're doing. They're planning something. Mm. If they've gone quiet, they're planning something. Mm. Yeah. Exciting. I'm actually doing that half marathon in the morning, so <laughs> they're probably hoping that I take ages to do the run and I don't come back. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Lillian says, I've got a new idea for a range. Build your own dream craft room. Lots Yay. of decoupage pieces of furniture and craft stuff. Love that idea, Lillian. Uh, and Jessica Stricker says, my daughter loves giraffes, now 20. Her preschool teacher said she could be an engineer. My daughter said, I'm going to be a giraffe with lots of spots. <laughs> Why not? Do you want to be a giraffe? Be a giraffe. You can be whatever you want. Nowadays, can't you? You can. Yeah. If you want to be a giraffe, stick your neck out and be a giraffe. Get it. Stick your neck out. Uh, we're nearly done. Uh, this, do you know what? This next set, this came with the Ultimate Organiser, didn't it? Do you remember that Ultimate Organiser? One of the oh, this, yes, yeah. One of the first ever uh, stamp and die sets I think I brought to you when I um, joined Crafters companion only three years ago um, so what it was it was a, a set of stamps and dies for you to be able to pop together well an organizer for you to get yourself organized or indeed um, just a lovely kind of memento of a particular holiday or um, a, a particular event that you could then send to somebody but what you've got in here not the full ultimate organizer but just the stamp set from within it which allows you to be able to so easy to show you on the front but those are all of the stamps so again a lot bigger than what you're seeing on the front there um to create things like birthday lists christmas lists shopping lists um receipts gift cards to do so there's all these different things that you can pop on so if you are creating like a little album a little folder you've got all the stamps in there for you to be able to um create things for a school list to buy what's that one down the bottom there 
uh, travel itinerary. Again, really great idea. Love the fact that you've got the little stamps there for your checklist and you can almost as well uh, build your own little calendar with this too. But there are 25 stamps that you're gonna be getting in total there. Should be 15 pounds or $20 you're getting the full set for. Always a little ingredients tab in there too, so maybe you're someone who likes to make your own um, you know, uh, food, make your own soups. We were talking about soups before the show, actually. I do love to make soups still. Um, so if you like to make your own recipe cards, this should be perfect for that. But eight pounds, eight dollars for that stamp set. Uh, make sure you jump in and grab with a 30% saving. Have you, what have you got over there next? I've got a desk tort. Well, a desk, desk made. Um, Store and, yeah, oh, it's the large storage from yeah, the desk it, Yeah, and this yes. is, what, we filled it. You're not going to get the items in it, so you're not getting the guillotine. No, I mean, that would be You're not ridiculous. getting the sprays, but what you are getting is the fabulous um, desk made. Yeah. And it's got your storage clips as well, so you could be popping your projects into there or whatever it is that you want to add. Dedicate it the right way around. Whatever it is that you want to hold on there as well. So you've got your clips. Yeah. Um, and also, what I love about this, I love what Nick's filled it up in, <laughs> is, is that it doesn't necessarily have to be in two compartments. So when I say in compartments, you've got a little belt, and I, I keep saying it's the hook and loop, in the sense it's always difficult in black to see it, but can you see uh, this divider? Oh, yes. So you can have on one end your sprays or your taller items um, in one end and then in the other you can have your storage things like somewhere safe for your guillotine to go into as well so you do have the storage space to um, customize this to whatever it is that you want um, and a lovely shape and I also mean it as well because you've got some area at the back where you could pop some potentially oh, some sheets and nice. things like that into as well as well as the side so if you want to pop into there a ruler you could pop a ruler into there so you could just pop that down into that side um, if you want oh, Debbie's saying that pulling it out of her bag now let me get, get back, back in, in now it's like a bit of Tetris on mine uh, but also on the uh, the front as well so you've got a storage area in the front too um, and then it can sit onto your desktop if that's what you want at uh, 10 pounds 10 dollars or the lowest that would go to is eight pounds and eight dollars another great storage solution from our totally tiffany um, there you go yeah 10 pounds or 10 dollars uh, eight pounds or eight dollars that is show done pretty much we didn't even get through everything there's loads more on the uh, website for you best thing to do is hit the shop the day button you'll see all of the 10 pound 10 dollar craft vault deals also don't forget those deals which i added back in for today simon storage the wildflower papers the big pack and pop if you bought the small pack and pop we've got the big one more mount board loads of our uh, luxury card stock in there as well that's on the shop the day added in just for today only um, off the back of the cartload on tuesday and of course still on the website right now the build your own goodie bag feature which i know a lot of you are having a lot of fun with particularly look at the uh, buy 10 for 40 section the deals that you can pick up there incredible uh, thank you so much for watching uh, make sure you keep shopping during the break we are off for a couple of hours we'll be back though at six o'clock this evening one o'clock eastern uh, for more we've got a fantastic launch party coming up uh, but until then thanks for watching keep shopping and bye for now